In this lesson, we're going to do the Hapkido self-defense for yellow belt, 6 to 10. So, once again, your attacker is grabbing with their left hand. So your attacker would be facing you, grabbing your wrist, your right wrist, with their left hand for this set. So, first technique. So, wrist is being grabbed here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to circle in, I'm going to reach out long, and I'm going to squeeze right here between the bicep and the tricep. This is another pressure point. So right in the middle between the bicep and the tricep, right here, right where you would flex and your arm would be at its biggest. Right there, there's a pressure point. So circle this hand in, the one that's being grabbed, reach long, and pinch right here. Thumb and first finger, squeeze, get that pressure point. Once again, that's going to weaken the arm, it causes pain, distracts your opponent momentarily, weakens the arm, loosens their grip, all at the same time. The whole arm goes weak when you grab pressure points. So here, squeezing, and then right at that moment, then I'm going to circle this backhand down so that it's on top, and I'm going to take this hand and push down and pull in and then push forward like this. And this is another arm bar, this time a front arm bar. So circling in this way, reaching out to get that bicep pressure point, circling this hand around here. It actually, it doesn't need to be on top, but circle it around to the side like this, grab, and take this arm here, put it on top so that you're above the elbow, press, pull in, and then push down. So down and now lean a little bit forward at the finish. So what you're doing here, your opponent, you're going to be grabbing, torquing the arm, so you, you get the bicep pressure point, you roll it over, and then when you pull down, you're applying the pressure right here just above the elbow. And it's important, keep this hand in tight to your body so that you've got maximum strength here. Don't let this arm get out away from your body. You want to have control of that arm. So push down like this with this arm here, pull in, make sure that their arm is fully extended, stretched out, and then you're almost pressing down and jamming it back in as you come forward like this. So again, this is tremendously painful technique. This is another submission. You can break the arm right here. It's going to cause pressure at the elbow. I think it even causes pressure up by the shoulder too when you have somebody do this. You might even pop their shoulder out depending on how hard you jerk and push down. So again, every, every hap keto technique that we do, these are very dangerous techniques. So when you're working with a partner, you have to be careful that you protect your partner and your partner should tap out right away as soon as they feel pain because it doesn't take much. As soon as you start applying pressure and they start to feel pain, right, right away we tap out to indicate that, you know, that's, that's far enough. You've, you know, you've caused pain. If you go any further, you know, something is going to break or there's going to be torn ligaments or more serious damage. So when you feel it in class, we tap out. And if for some reason both of your hands are tied up, then we stamp. You know, you would stamp your foot on the ground to indicate that you're, tamp uh, you're tapping out. So... That's number six. Number seven, again, wrist being grabbed. Actually, six from the side, before I forget. So, circling in, reaching long, getting that bicep pressure point, circling this hand around and up here so you have a good grip on the wrist, and then take this hand around, put it on top, 
pull in and push down, jam back in. So you're pulling and pushing down and pushing in. So in and then down. Number seven. So with this one, what you're gonna do, take this hand here and we're gonna use this to break the grip. We're gonna step across. As we step, I'm gonna make sure I'm on camera here. As we step, we're gonna swat the hand away with this hand right here. So remember, it's an outside grip on the wrist like this. So the underside of the wrist is here. So when you come across this motion here, if you do it quickly enough, and if you do it with enough force, again, a lot of these techniques work by surprise, right? You can't give it away with a great big motion so that your opponent knows what's coming. It's got to just be quick and forceful for these techniques, these, these submissions and these escapes to work. So here, quick, into the side, break the grip, and grab the attacker's wrist right here at the same time. Break the grip and grab the wrist. Then you're going to step around behind them. This arm is going to come in behind their arm. You're still holding the wrist with this hand here. And when you straighten up and pull down, this is going to be another elbow submission. So you can break their arm once again at the elbow with this technique. So looking at it again from here, step across and swat the wrist to break the grip. Grab it right at this point here. Step, turn around, dig this arm in underneath and push down. So here you straighten up, you stiffen up, straighten up, uh, straighten your right arm and you pull down with the left and that extends the arm and at that point it's a submission. So if you're looking at this from the side, here coming across, swatting it away, stepping around, behind, dig that arm in behind their arm and here pull down and then straighten up like this. That will, their arm is going to be in this position. So you come around underneath, you're coming underneath the elbow, and what you're doing is this to their arm. So they will be up on their tippy toes, tapping at that point. Your one arm is gonna be behind their arm, up above the elbow, and your other arm is the one that's going to be grabbing the wrist and pulling down. So you've got an arm here like this, holding it in place, and the other arm is pulling down, adding pressure. You're going to feel that right at the elbow. So again, one last time, number seven. Around and just like that. Number eight. Number eight, starts out exactly the same way. Come across, swat, break the grip, grab, and then from here, pivot around and pull down. So you're gonna have both of your hands on their wrist. Their arm is gonna be here over top of your shoulder. You're gonna be in a sitting stance and you're gonna pull down and at the same time you're also going to straighten your body up. So lift up with your body and pull down. For this technique to work effectively you've got to be in close to your opponent. So you don't want to have a big gap between you and them otherwise you can't apply the pressure to the arm where it needs to be. This again is going to put pressure on the elbow. And the other thing is if you're too far away, your opponent can also pull back. They can cause you to lose your balance. You have to be snug. So when you put this technique on, your opponent is right here. 
your back is right up against them. So, once again, from here, step over. So, crossover step, break the grip, swing the arm around and go right into sitting stance, pull down, and again, this is another arm bar submission. Looking at it from the side, step over, crossover step, step around in front, and it's also important that the arm is on this side, the arm is not on this side. It's on the right hand side, over the right shoulder, and pull down. This prevents your opponent from being able to get any kind of a headlock or anything around you, or any kind of choke. Excuse me. Because your opponent, this is going to be their left hand, right? So your opponent, you block, or you, you break the grip. You take their arm over top of your right shoulder, and you apply pressure. This hand is taken out of play altogether. So this is the one that you're submitting. It's going to be the left arm that you're applying pressure to. Their right arm is going to be useless. It's going to be out of play. There's no way, if you have this on your right shoulder, there's no way that they could wrap you up and get a choke out of that. So it's very important that it's this side, it's not on this side. As with any Hapkido self-defense technique, you can counter the technique up to a certain point. So if you know what's coming, if you have an idea what defense is coming, that would be a defense against that technique. If you knew the person was trying to go for an arm bar and they put the arm over the wrong shoulder, then before they have time to lock it out, you could come around and turn it into a choke. And now you're in control. But once the move is fully applied, it's too late at that point. Then there's no escape. So that is technique six, seven. That's technique number eight. Technique number nine. So this time, again, same grab every time. Grabbing left hand on right wrist. Circling inward. This time I'm going to grab underneath with this hand like this. So the opponent's hand wrist is right here. The wrist is there. I'm going to circle downward with this fist right here. Circle it downward. This is going to apply pressure to the fingers. So they're going to be in this position here. I'm going to be applying pressure to the fingers, which is going to be very painful, very uncomfortable for them. And then from here, as they straighten up and their arm straightens up here, I'm going to shoot forward like this. I've got control of the wrist right here, down by the hand. This hand is going to grab their shoulder. And then from here, their arm is going to be going across my arm here. I'm going to twist. I'm going to pull down like this. And I'm going to straighten the right arm out here. Stiffen this up here. So three actions happening at the same time. So their arm is going to be coming across my arm right by the elbow. Right here. Twisting, pulling down, and stiffening, straightening up with that right arm all at the same time. This is going to be another arm lock, pressure at the elbow, where you can break the arm. So looking at that from the side, number nine. Circling inward, grabbing the wrist from underneath, bending downward. So this fist here turns downward like this. Just roll it over. From there, you're going to get pressure, grab the wrist, step forward, turn. So grab the shoulder, the far shoulder, twist, pull down and stiffen all at the same time. So it might look better looking at it from this side. So from here, circling in, grabbing under, roll the hand down. Right, this, again, this is pressure on the fingers. Here, 
step out, reaching long, twisting, pulling down, and stiffening up all at the same time. That's number nine. And then finally, number 10. <clears throat> so this one, number 10, we're gonna circle around this way until you come up and can grab the wrist. So circle around and grab the attacker's wrist with the hand that is being grabbed. Bring the other hand up on the other side, trap it. From here, circle, grab. So I'm grabbing the wrist and the hand with both of my hands. From here, bend upward like this and then make a C shape like this. So forward, down, and back. All one smooth motion. Just like that. So once again, circle until you can grab the wrist. Bend forward, down, and back. So looking at that from the side, so from here, circle around until you can grab their wrist. Grab, bend this way, so you're torquing the wrist in this direction. Push in, down, and slide back like this. Let your body move backward. What's gonna happen to them? <clears throat> They're gonna be up like this, so you're gonna be circling their wrist around, you're going to grab it when it's in this position here. You're going to be torquing it this way. And when you push forward, it's going to do this to the arm. You're going to pull down. If they don't go with you at this point, they're going to have a broken wrist. And then when you pull forward, they're going to be dragging along the ground on their stomach at this point. Again, if your opponent doesn't go with this, they're going to have a broken wrist right here. They're going to come down. They're going to be submitting already at that point. So, up, over, down. So, those are the Hapkido self-defense techniques 6 to 10 for yellow belt.